project serve aims to en enable first and second year students in the faculty of ales to make connections with each other but also between what they're studying in their program of studies and what happens in the community we have 75 first and second year students here today as well as 20 upper year students that are facilitating they're going to be going to nine different community partner organizations There's about 15 of us out here at the garden today. It's nice to come out here and volunteer and actually put some practical applications behind the signs that we're learning. Today, they're split off into two groups. Uh, one group is planting our garlic that we will harvest next year. And there's another group that's harvesting all of our green tomatoes. I want to experience what harvesting is really like and I want to incorporate what I'm doing in crop sciences in real life. I'm really interested in sustainable food initiatives and I mean a community garden, it doesn't get more sustainable than that, honestly. So um, this is the kind of thing I would maybe one day like to start or facilitate on my own. I'm one of the team leaders here. So basically just making sure that our students come away from this activity having learned something. Or at least having, not, maybe not necessarily learned something, but at least having gained or benefited in some way or another. Even just on our way walking here. I asked them, like, so how many of you guys have ever been in a neighborhood like this? None of them had. I just want them to come away having learned something, seeing a different perspective, and if I can accomplish that, today will have been a success. I just like to really think about uh, the people that I'm helping, what situation they're in, because like lots of people think, oh, you're giving breakfast to the homeless. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Lots of them are just like the working poor. They've had uh, something that set them back a little bit, and it's just really hard to get ahead. So I mean, like any little bit that can help them, I mean, that definitely relates to my program in all sorts of ways. Like, it relates back to the ALES motto of finding solutions for a better world. Hi, Jana. <laughs> I'm Diana. Diana, nice to meet you. So welcome to Walka. We have 70 horses on site, and we are primarily driven by volunteers. We're going to have them scrub out the water troughs and put the insulators on them so that um, we're ready for winter. Uh, as well, some will be mucking stalls. I expect today to be dirty and really tiring, and hopefully get something out of it, satisfying. This hands-on experience, I think it's really important for me because I'm still undecisive on what kind of animals I want to do. Like, I really want to get into, like, inside pets, just like cats and dogs. But I'm open to do horses and cattle and all that stuff, so this, I think this will help guide me to which kind of animals I want to do. What I would do is just rip it, and then this can go in recycle, and this can go in, I think it's office supplies. We have a lot of material that needs to be sorted through and rolled up, and they're doing a great job, and they're going through um, some of the books that are being taken apart and recycled, so yeah, for us it's, it's, it's great, yeah. One of my concerns is always like landfills filling up and that issue there, so knowing that there's people that are actually reusing all that and it's not just going into the landfills or just being recycled, they're actually focusing on that reuse part of it, it's, yeah, it's really great. I think it's important to get hands-on experience and understand what you're learning. They need help sorting and this is a great organization. They're doing a really great job, so it's definitely making a difference in the community. Overall, it went really well. I think we served over 250 people, so we were pretty excited about that. For first years, I think it's really important and you get a lot out of it. I feel like it was a fun experience and it was great to learn more about what the community has to offer. I think mostly what I wanted to accomplish was that students would feel like they had contributed in a meaningful way, that they were able to get involved, that they were able to figure out how their programs of studies connected in some way to the community. And I, I was really impressed with their reports on what they did at their, at their partner organizations, the students who, who did share their learnings. Some of those learnings were great. Certainly one of the intentions was that students would want to continue to be involved in things like community service learning or the other ways that, that we engage students outside of the classroom. And so I'm looking forward to seeing how many of these students come back and learning from the feedback that they share with us when we follow up with them in evaluations. I'd definitely do it again, I think any Saturday, yeah. Didn't take that much time, it was a lot of fun, met lots of new people. Three, two, one, and... <laughs>
Hi, Victor. <laughs> Yay. Thank you guys so much. Have a good day and rest up after all of your hard work. <laughs>